technological advancements have made it possible to retrieve broadcasted news from the future with the use of an advanced proprietary AI quantum computing system engineered in our labs. We at Navigator News Network are the first and only news source to retrieve, delineate, and make available to the public portions from these transmissions, less any information that is deemed to potentially compromise the timeline and global security. And now, here is News, news from, from the, the Future. future. Good evening, I am your host, Serenity Zed, for tonight's broadcast on Navigator News Network. We help you navigate through the silly horseshit and lead you to the truth as we deliver tomorrow's news today. For our first report, we have compiled these five following news stories for you, spanning from 2022 to 2040. Our first story in this report has been retrieved from May 22, 2022. Vice President Kamala Harris has finally spoken up again about the Mexico border after months of silence since her trip last year to El Paso. Today, from the White House, she announced the promise of the administration's new and improved upcoming immigration policy, Building Better Borders named upon one of President Biden's barely coherent utterances, his knack for catchy slogans, and his affinity for the letter B. It is one of the toughest letters for him, but presumably he likes it because it is the first letter of his last name. The new policy was unveiled today. In addition to the Biden t-shirts, sweatbands, and bottles of Gatorade, Migrants illegally crossing the southern U.S. border will now be greeted with flower bouquets, red carpet, and keys to certified used vehicles with pink slips. The need for a driver's license and insurance will be waived for our illustrious new guests. The trunks of these complimentary vehicles will be filled with at least one week's worth of designer clothing and accessories in their size, a pillow and a mint, and a cooler with two days worth of gourmet breakfast and sandwiches prepared by chefs from restaurants with a prestigious Michelin award. Also included are $800 in food vouchers, as well as hotel vouchers for two months to stay at any U.S. hotel up to four stars. To top it all off, the immigrants receive an 18 karat gold enamel lapel pin featuring the American socialist flag and the words, Biden welcomes you. They are given identification documents, often with a brand new identity, which could be stolen from you, along with a pamphlet with resource phone numbers to call when they need more things to help sustain them as they begin their new life in the US. Lastly, they are provided with the latest iPhone to facilitate making those phone calls. There's also a little something extra special tucked away in the backpacks for the restless little ankle biters. A story and activity book featuring Biden's incoherent ramblings and beautifully illustrated crayon scribbles. All are welcome and are promised instant citizenship without any screening, background checks, applications, fees, ID, or screenings for lice and diphtheria. Also, all adults are guaranteed to receive any job they want to take from any working citizen, provided they are so inclined to work. Every family of four or more will be provided with their own personal white slave. And if one or more family members is or becomes transgender, gay, or identify as a unicorn, they will be granted two white slaves and a goat. If any children are girls under 10, they will also receive a real pony with its own silver-plated hairbrush and a bushel of apples. 
the Biden-Harris administration's open border, building better borders policy will now make these perks available to all arriving migrants from any country, even criminals, known terrorists, and poodle molesters, who will be granted a new identity and a free pass to reign terror upon innocent civilians and seize anything they may see that they want from you or any business owner. The new migrants have expressed their deep gratitude to the Biden-Harris administration's generosity and are delighted to be greeted with such tremendous hospitality at taxpayers' expense without any regard for current U.S. citizens. As news of this unprecedented policy flows to south of the border and around the globe, an even larger influx of migrants are now headed our way to the border. It is anticipated that there will be approximately 12 to 18 million more new migrants in the U.S. by the end of 2022 from many different countries and a massive influx of illicit drugs, weapons, and chiclets gum. The administration and most Democrat politicians and other perfidious autocrats celebrate the imminent wave of crime, chaos, and economic doom coming to a town near you. Our next story is from August 8, 2030. Far-left regressive socialist Democrat Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and global warming experts are concerned over the impending end of the world from rising global heat, while other efforts from those who call themselves experts were not producing results fast enough and the prospect of Earth bursting into flames was looming closer and closer to a reality, AOC and her team of scientists began brainstorming in an effort to envision a viable solution to save the world from impending doom. After hitting several futile roadblocks, AOC had a brilliant, unprecedented epiphany. Why don't we just move the Earth further from the sun, she said. The scientists were impressed with AOC's incredible light bulb moment and were confident it was the solution they needed. Research commenced immediately as to how this astronomical endeavor could be implemented and achieved. The team estimated that an effective distance to move the Earth from the Sun would be about 7,500 miles, nearly the diameter of Earth. After careful consideration, they determined that colossal rocket boosters would be needed. A team of 162 of the world's best engineers were recruited who then worked tirelessly to calculate the thrust needed to achieve the desired result. Finally, the day had arrived to put the plan into action. Over the span of several months without sleep, the team worked fervently while being administered an intravenous cocktail of caffeine, ephedrine, and adrenaline to design and build the rocket boosters on the selected remote location near the South Pole. Unfortunately, a devastating malfunction occurred due to the freezing icy conditions that was unforeseen during the calculations. The malfunction resulted in a massive asshole-shaped crater now sitting where Antarctica is, sadly leaving very little of the icy continent remaining. Our dear resident Dingbat AOC and the team were very enthusiastic about the momentous, ambitious plan, but after the disastrous failed attempt and little time remaining to save Earth, the desperation of the team has led them to now reach out to the public dullards for any potential solutions. A scientific engineer on the team, Klaus Schuster, said, we need all the help we can get to tackle this enormous crisis. So we're enlisting any and all help we can get. The more minds on it, the better. 
Whoever submits a viable action plan will receive an all-expense paid one-month vacation for four to the moon at the luxurious hedonistic new auberge lunar resort and the recognition they deserve for helping to save the planet and all its inhabitants. Please contact the team at saveearth.org slash contact and submit your ideas. Our third story was retrieved from September 22nd, 2034. A gang of juveniles have been causing terror on their hoverboards in a South Florida neighborhood. Multiple complaints have come in about the lawless acts of the hooligans. They have been spotted in an approximate six mile radius, smashing windows of shops and cars and using ketchup dispensing bottles filled with caustic chemicals to write offensive words into homeowners' lawns, wherein vulgar messages were revealed when the grass dies in those spots. It was also reported by several eyewitnesses that they were yelling profanities and other derogatory comments at people they passed by and using rudimentary explosives to blow up a portion of the last remaining physical library in the state. Local resident, Sheila McMurphy, has been quoted saying, Those young punks blew up Darby, my favorite garden gnome, and then spit on me when I confronted them. The hoverboards travel up to 30 miles per hour, enabling the juveniles to quickly flee the scenes before anyone could confront them or capture an identifying image of them to help law enforcement identify them. Local authorities are asking the public for any information that can lead to their identity or arrest. Please contact your local non-emergency police line to assist. This next story is just in from July 12, 2037. Mexican food manufacturer Goya has developed a new healthy Mexican food flavored snack to take on the run. After four years of R&D, Goya has revealed the Nachitos, a 3D printed nacho taquito flavored combination plant-based snack packed with 53 daily essential nutrients. Each serving contains 100% daily value of 36 nutrients and at least 15% of the remaining 17 nutrients. This high energy, high protein antioxidant packed snack is totally vegan, non-GMO, and designed for those on the go who love Mexican dishes but want the benefits of healthy eating in an affordable, tasty, on-the-go snack without the mess of traditional Mexican cuisine. They're also due to release later this year another healthy 3D printed snack, Enchilatos, an enchilada burrito flavored snack that's just as nutritious as the just released Nachitos. Goya Foods co-owner and CEO Sophia Unanwe said in a comment they wanted to provide an irresistible healthy alternative to typical snacks in an age when too many people aren't getting the nutrition they need. You'll be able to find the nachitos in the healthy section of the snack food aisle at your local market within the coming weeks. A 3D template can be purchased online at goya.com slash print for a nominal monthly fee, allowing you access for in-home use so you can print the tasty nachitos and enchilatos yourself, sparing you a trip to the market and the environment of a snack bag. And our final story in this report was retrieved from March 26, 2040. Third term Empress Overlord Nancy Pelosi celebrates her 100th birthday. Due to court packing during the Harris administration in 2023, Pelosi was able to successfully demand the Supreme Court to overturn the two term presidential limit and change it to no limits on presidential positions. Therefore, there are no election requirements while she's in office so there will not be presidential elections again until the Empress Overlord either resigns, becomes incapacitated, or passes away. 
On her first day in office, she signed an executive order to change her title to Empress Overlord of the U.S. to accommodate her ego and feeling of self-importance and adequately convey her supreme power over Americans and others in the world. Scientific advances help facilitate Empress Overlord Pelosi's physical accessibility needs due to physical limitations brought on by entropy. According to our medical experts, due to an amazing accessibility invention, theoretically, she could live forever. Credit goes to a device designed specifically for her so she can continue her role over the US. An encapsulated, all-encompassing, AI-enabled titanium vat designed for her specific body measurements contains all of her many needs. Because her voice is faint and shaky, she is able to communicate through a synthesized external voice box. Her incoherent voice first runs through the AI system to determine and clarify her intent so she can verbalize her demands and dictate control. The VAT is equipped with an external microphone to pick up sounds then amplify them through the internal speakers adjusted to accommodate her weakened hearing. The state-of-the-art VAT also takes care of her other daily needs, such as feeding, bathing, dispensing of body waste, and muscle stimulation to prevent blood clots and atrophy. Furthermore, it administers her medicine, supplements, and adrenochrome, and monitors her vitals. That data is then transmitted via high-speed 7G internet to her full-time technical and healthcare team to maintain the machinery and be sure her physical needs are met. Estimated taxpayer spending was initially $2.3 billion for the high-tech AI device. And that concludes our five News from the Future stories here on Navigator News Network. I'm Serenity Zed, signing off. Be sure to subscribe because there are lots more episodes coming up in the News from the Future series. Also, give that thumb icon a press and pass along this video to others you know that love freedom and laughter. If you'd like to support Satire with Serenity so I can get more wigs, costumery, and other equipment for more badassical vids, see the description below. and a cooler with two days worth of gourmet breakfasts and sandwiches prepared by chefs from restaurants with the prestigious Michelin Awards. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Oh, Alexa, shut up, you bitch.